Hello, hi friends. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm just a snap early for our event tonight. Um, it's been going on all weekend and um, I had to write, it's a lot, so I had to write it all down so I got everything correct. Uh, but first of all, thank you to Chris Hunter for inviting me into this event. Um, she always has fun events and this time it is her Empowered Creatives. Chris has a creating um, creative group with um, new pages and so the idea is that she mixes larger pages with the smaller pages and everybody gets you know to grow and share and uh, I think I fall somewhere in the middle but I'm happy to be invited um, and then so the event is called here comes Santa Claus and so the whole theme was about Santa Claus and um, the group that I was hoping you guys would join and the link is at the top is called creative friends in the box okay and then the person up behind me will be the Comfy Nest by Grace. So anyway, if you want to, um, if you know Grace and you don't want to miss her, make sure you're either on her page or you're in the group um, Creative Friends in the Box um, with Chris Hunter. And then um, I think that's everything I needed to tell you. I'll try and remember to recap that at the end. So, oh, hi, hi, girls. Hi, you guys. Oh my gosh, thank you. There's all of my True Blue friends. Thank you guys. I sent out an SOS text, like, help me. It's so nice to see familiar faces. So see, that just makes me just feel all the much better. So Chris is bringing me in. And so while we're waiting on her to do that, I wanted to show you how I ended up with this tree that we did the other day in here um, where we melted the Target tinsel tree to make it look vintage and I covered that plaster. I changed my mind after I sprayed it with the gold metallic and I put book pages and glitter. Oh, there she is and I'm in. So, okay, I promised you guys I'd show you the tree and that's the first time I've remembered. Hi, you guys. Thank you for the shirt. The shirt came from uh, my friend Tara at Sweet water trading and um she has them for sale there so you can message her there's no links that i know of um so any well thank you i i curled i was you know nervous energy so tonight i am going to do a big i'm biting off a big project it's 5 15 right now so we are ready to roll and i'm going to show you really quickly what we're going to be making so years and years ago early 1900s maybe even before that they had cotton spun uh, ornaments and people made it out of um, cotton spun fabrics and this is an example of a really old one he's my only one that I have and I think he's awesome so that inspired my friend Julie was like I'm gonna figure that out and by golly she did here are some that we have made over the years now it's probably been two years that we've been making these so here's a couple of different ones if you want a screenshot I'm gonna hold up some for um, ideas. We did these a couple of years ago in my private group. Um, it's called Tammy's Making. And um, all of the really detailed details are in that private group, okay? Um, I usually wait about a year, a little longer, before I bring them out to um, my page here. And so they're all a little bit different. And they're all a pleasure to make. And so... It takes about two hours to make one. Oh, and then here's the best one I've ever made. Um, I used an old, uh, what do they call it? Feather stitch uh, patchwork. I call it my coat of many colors, but I made him the other night, made his pants out of the quilt. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now it's gonna be a quick skinny version. So you're gonna have to just figure some things out or message me, but I'll do my best to go over everything. Um, if you're interested in learning how to make these, like the old pipe cleaner people, lots of vintage things, because I'm super vintage, um, you're welcome to join the group. It's uh, at Tammy's Making. Um, you can find it, the name of my page is called Tammy Loves Vintage, and just add a dot com. So hi, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to be fast. So we have this little body that you cut out of cardboard. Um, I will tell you he's four inches tall altogether. The head is an inch, an inch and a half for the body, an inch and a half for the legs, and you can vary it according to your heads. Now you saw I had some paper um, German die cuts that I ordered off of Etsy, or um, you can order, oh, <laughs> I just, 
instead of straightening it, I just added some curls. So <laughs> thank you. Um, and then we made these faces out of clay in the group um, two or three years ago. Uh, the group's been around since 2019. And then we painted them up and I'm going to cover his hat so it doesn't matter that it's pink. Um, so, okay, so made the clay faces and I give you all the links and stuff for all of that in the group. So it's kind of a shameless push towards the group and I apologize, but that's where it all is. Hi, mom. Thank you. So um, anyway, she knows I'm nervous. Everybody knows I'm nervous. I sent out an SOS to all of my friends. Please, please. So, okay, first thing you're going to do, you're going to cut a pipe cleaner, okay, just a regular pipe cleaner. And you're going to take some cotton batting, just regular cotton batting. You can use pure and natural or whatever. And you begin wrapping it. And my glue of choice for these kind of projects is tacky glue, Aileen's tacky glue, or something like that. You can use hot glue, but it gets a little thick and it stays on the surface where um, this glue kind of um, goes away after it dries. So you basically just wrap, and I've already pre-wrapped a good bit of it here. And then I'm going to make his hand a little bit bigger, okay, just his little hand part. So um, just, so you just want to make the ends a little bit thicker like this, okay. So I did this the other day. So here is this one. So you can see how when you first make them, they're a little fuzzy-ish, I guess is the word. But when they dry out, they get a little crisper, um, if that helps. So, okay, you guys, I'm not going to catch your comments. I'm so sorry, but I, this is a two hour project and I am going to knock it out in 45 minutes if it kills me. So here we go. So, so you've got your body. I've already given you the measurements. We've got the legs are pre-wrapped. Again, it is a pipe cleaner like this. Wrap it. Now we dyed this. we learned how to dye all of your stuff in the group. Um, I'm a friend, Michelle from the Vintage Daisy. She's in the group and she has on her uh, website, she has a really interesting way of um, dyeing your um, fabrics and cotton spun or whatever you're doing. So um, you can go there or if you want, you can be, you, it's, it's not very much to buy that. Um, or you can join my group. My group is $15 a month. Oh shoot, are you kidding me? I've got to turn on my glue now. I knew something would go wrong. Okay, it won't take long. So then we glue the legs and the arms on. So we don't need that exactly right this minute. Um, so now what we're going to do while I'm waiting on the, it's $15 a month. If you do a year, you get the last month free. So it's $165 and you get the last month for free if you want to do that. And it's just TammyLovesVintage.com. Um, it's just muslin, Sandra. It's just muslin. And you guys, I'll come back and answer your questions, I promise. Um, later if I miss them okay so don't don't fear um, usually I just keep going <laughs> so so okay now what I'm gonna do I've cut some pants some legs to make pants and I trimmed the bottom with a different color of fabric okay again I know I'm going fast um, but I have to in order to get it all done uh, but so many people that have followed me for a very long time, I've been doing this since 2013. So a lot of people that have been following me um, have asked for me to give them details on how to do this that haven't been in the group. And I've never, um, I've never done it because it was always a group project. But, you know, Chris is special and all of that. So, okay. So let's stick, see if it's, it's ready or ready. I need to get the pants on here. So, or the legs. So there, we've got his little legs on there. And now I'm going to put his pants on. And the reason I, I wanted to do that is because I want to go up over the cardboard a bit. Okay. So here we go. This is the back. See, what, <laughs> sometimes I put them on backwards, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. So all of these little things that I did ahead of time, like trimming out the pants and having their sizes already cut and all that, all Chris things. Um, you know, that's just to help me be faster for you guys. Now listen to, I just saw my, I just saw some sparkles here. I bought one of those things from, um, the dazzled, uh, what's it called? Um, totally dazzled place and one of those, um, like hot things. And so when Tara sent me the shirt, um, I bedazzled it myself. So just so you know, yours wouldn't be dazzled. Okay. 
Um, okay, so we're gonna run three lines again down this rectangle. So his pants are just rectangles that you're wrapping around the legs. And then if we have to patch a little bit on the front of his belly or his behind, we can patch in a little bit, it's no problem. You can always patch. Cause this will all be underneath a coat and you can decide, oh shoot, I didn't make this big enough. Okay, well, we're not gonna worry about it for this show. I wrapped too much, <laughs> I wrapped more batting around this one than the others. I'm gonna leave it and I'll patch this in on another later. I'll do it later by myself. Okay, so here's our, so when we dye the cotton batting, you do the whole thing. Thank you, I don't even know how much they are. She sent it to me like, you know, like a friend would. I just am always admiring her picture. She doesn't do lives or anything on her page, but she and I have a lot in common. And so she just shares pretty pictures. She has a booth. And so I'm just gonna use the hot glue so it can hold down. But see, okay, let me show you. So see, he's all yucky. I'm gonna fill it in with this just piece of, what, of um, scrap, I guess it would be, that I cut off. So see, I'm just cleaning it up. All right, I'm just cleaning it up and I just use the hot glue just to be faster. Um, I'm gonna do that again here. Just for this, because you can't see it, it'll be underneath everything. Yes, who said that, Chris? Yes, it is. I watch all you girls dazzle everything up and you know, I'm a little more vintage than dazzling as far as my projects go. Um, I mean, I like a little glitter hither and yon, but um, yeah, this is, he, <laughs> his pants are a little off. Maybe I'll cut his foot. Yeah, I got him a little crooked-ish. <laughs> oh, he'll be great. Um, warm and natural will work fine. Yes, any kind of batting. Uh, yeah, warm and natural is fine. But when you're staining or when you're dyeing it, it, you don't really, you know, all that peppering that you get, you don't really see it, you know. Um, so if the other batting is less expensive, I'd just use that. That's right, Susie, thank you for telling her that. I, I didn't see her comment. Okay, another trick, um, secret, that I can tell you is when you do, when you're putting the arms on, you wanna put them at the crick of his neck, okay? And you, you wanna give him a waist so that when it's time to put the belt around him, it kinda of cinches in a little bit, so that's always good too. And you kinda of wanna make your arms and legs and things as you make your body because these arms look just a snap too long for this little guy, but I made them ahead, so we're going with it. They're a little bit long, but all I'll do is like bend it and put something in his hands. You know what I mean? He'll be fine. See what I mean? He'll be fine. Okay, so now I've got this and I glued it to the back. Always wanna make sure you, oh no, I didn't. I glued it to the front. Oh shoot. Hang on, I need to put it on the other side. <laughs> oh. Love. There we go. How am I doing? I'm fine. Heck, I'm gonna have this thing done in 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. If I do, I'll go back and read all your comments and answer all your questions, okay? All right, so <laughs> there we go. Now I, now I got my stuff together here. <laughs> okay, so this is the back. Now this is the front. And his pants are a little off. Um, in order to fix that, I'll probably have to peel this this cuff off, add a little patch and lower it down. I may just leave it and let me see what would happen if I, I did this the other day. So it's all nice and hard. Huh. That works too, right? <laughs> that works too. So there you go. Now I'm much better shape. He can bend his knee a little bit and we'll be in good shape. So now my only issue is I need a little patch. And if you want to see how to do that, you would just cut a little strip like this. I think, I think I'm gonna be fine on time, we'll see. I just don't want you guys to have to come back and watch if you're not, you know, if you're not, thank you. No, I just curled it, I just curled it. It's a day two hair, <laughs> thank you. You guys are funny, you all know me so well, don't you? You all know me so well. Thanks Sharon, I'm glad you're here. It's so nice to see my friends. See all of you new people, you could be our friend too. You can come in and we'll get to know you and we'll recognize you. And um, it's a really nice friendship, especially in the group. Everyone knows everybody, it seems like now. There have been a couple of new people in, but. So see, I want you to see how when you patch it in, you really, 
I mean, you see all the white glue right now, but that'll dry and go away. And then in the end, I will paint these. Let me show you. I will paint these with the Mod Podge stuff, with the Mod Podge, not stuff, but Mod Podge. And you can put, like, li listen, hear that? That's not what, um, you know, cotton batting, that's what it would sound like, just fabric. But when you're all done, you seal it so that it's not, you know, snagging. Like as you store it, and it also gives it that crusty kind of look. And, um, but it doesn't like get caught on things. And I need to add a little bit more. He's not quite as crusty. Uh, I need to add a little more to him. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so now let's do, oh, I see what I did. I put his pants on his sleeves. No wonder they weren't big enough. Look how huge these are. That's what I did. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I feel better, except I did put his pants on his, I put a shirt on his pants. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Okay, well, there you go. That's what I did. All right, so let's make these arms a little bit um, smaller. Oh, jeez. Train wreck, I'm a train wreck. I literally did put out an SOS to my <laughs> followers on uh, both on um, Telegram and on my texting service. Um, if you want, if you want to follow, yeah, you're not late. If you want to follow um, and hear whenever I'm going live, I can text you if you're a texter. Um, one of you girls that follow me, I'm going to give you. Um, I'm going to give you my number. If someone would type it in for me, that would be amazing. Um, it is 740-273-6693. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Linda. Bless your heart. Thank you so much. Okay, so there you go. That's how it's supposed to go down. I put the sleeves on the pants. No wonder. I thought, dang, I cut that little. <laughs> okay. So there, and I left it up just a little bit so that when we put his coat on, you won't, um, you, you shouldn't see it. And then I need to skinny this one off here just a little bit too. Let's see. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put three lines of glue. I just turned it to put the cuff out so I don't get them confused. You know, I don't put it on backwards in my stress here. <laughs> I don't know why I get so stressed out when I do these. My husband's like, will you quit doing those things? You're just a wreck all day long. <laughs> you can't really stand to be around me. And it's true. I don't know why it's stressing. Hey, thanks, Glenda. She put my number in there for me. Thank you so much, friend. Um, okay. <laughs> I get all weird. I know I do. I know I do. I know these other girls just go on all call me calm. And then there's me. Ha! <laughs> Oh, good, Sue. I know you. there's a lot of you that's waited a long time for me to share this. And so here you go. Here you go. I'm sharing now. Okay, so I left a pretty big flap on that. And look, it made a whole, it made a whole shirt. You see that? I know it's not perfect, but he's going to have his beard. He's going to have a collar. He's going to be good. I'll skinny it up there just for those of you that are like, oh, I can't stand it. There you go. Okay. And let me see if I can unfold this just a little bit. There you go. I got a whole shirt on him and I was really just going after sleeves. Okay. Now let me make sure I've got glue here. It's not closing all the way. Um, another nice little tip. I keep my glue in a mason jar um, because this tacky glue, otherwise you're spending half your time like trying to shake it down to get it uh, to come out. So I know that's a dumb, that's probably the dumbest thing I've ever said, but Somebody might be like, oh, that's a good idea, right? Somebody might think it's a good idea. Okay, you guys, we're doing great. Here's our little fella. Now, these can just stand on your little Christmas tree branches. I have a tree that's all full of all of these. Um, just in my dining room. I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and put the, um, the shirt in the back. And don't I have a really nice pair of um, fabric scissors? I sure do. Am I using them? I'm sure not. You know why? In my stress of me, I, I will cut something that's not fabric and then I'll be mad at myself. These little ones actually are a little bit sharper. Yeah, they're my big ones. Um, okay, so glue this down. So now we've covered the whole body. 
And honestly, we've just kind of patched them together. Um, but it is a huge help rather than to try to make a whole coat and to put it on. Hey, there's Tara, the friend that sent me my shirt. Tara, I've already told them about you. Everyone's loving your shirt. And uh, I told them to go to Sweetwater Trading on Facebook to message you if they would like one. I've already talked to you this morning that you had some. So we're good there. Okay, so I have a little bit. I'm just going to cut it off rather than glue it down because you're not even going to see it. How am I doing? I'm doing so well. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Randy's in charge of dinner. It's 5.30 here. And so I'll finish up at 6 o'clock. That's 5.35. I'll finish up at 6, so he had a whole, I read him a whole, I hear him out there poking at the oven, so he's doing good. You're doing good, honey. I made, I, my daughter Abby has the best um, recipe she found for um, chicken thighs, and um, anyway, yeah, so he's, I've got it all made, he's just putting it in the oven. But you know, he'll tell everyone he fixed dinner. Uh, thank you. It was from Sweetwater Trading uh, on Facebook. You can message her. Also, where did you get the fat? It's, it's um, just cotton batting, and we used Rit dye. Um, I mentioned Michelle the Vintage Daisy has a really nice dye that she uses. So here's here's where we are. Um, the VintageDaisy.com. You can buy a class from her on how to stain your um, or dye your stuff. So here, so here's where we are, okay? Now we're gonna do a coat. Now the coat, you'll cut it out into a shape like this. It'll be like a triangle and you'll cut off the top, okay? This'll be your coat. So let me show you how it's gonna be. So I've got the back, I've got the wrong side. <laughs> do this right. And it kind of goes underneath the arms because you see we've already covered the arms. Of course, we'll have um, his, we've got a hat to do. So here's your coat, and then your coat's gonna come around um, like that, okay? Now you can leave it you know, long, or you can cut it off and make a short one. I can cut this off, I just folded it to show you. But you can make a short coat as well. It's whatever kind of coat you want. I think my other two dark green, um, Julie just brought me this dark green fabric and I hadn't made any yet out of it. Let me see here. I've got, um, let me show you one. Where's the other one? Oh, here he is. Um, I've got two long coats, so I think I'm going to make, oh, but I wanted to hide those legs. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm going to make a short coat. I think I'm going to do a short coat on him. So I'm going to cut this down. Maybe we'll go like a medium coat. I'm gonna cut this down just to be a little bit different than the other two. I, I didn't show you those very well, did I? Hang on. <laughs> show you those again. Here's him. And here's him. That's better. Okay. And then there's their backs. All right. Let's keep rolling. So here's the coat. So I know that I'm gonna put down the top part tightly. So I'm gonna glue that. And then I know just like over his back is going to be touching. So I'm just going to smear some on there. And then I'm going to decide, do I want to close the coat or I do? Oh, thank you. You guys probably can't see the glitter, but I use that machine, that heating thing from the um, uh, Totally Dazzled and dazzled it up. It's my second shirt to do. Um, I have a, a grandbaby. Uh, she's uh, 10 months. And I bought a, a sweatshirt um, that um, she's, I'm going to, everyone says, what's your name? What's she going to call you? And, and I came up with Lolly and Pops. I follow a lady on Instagram and she's always on there with their daughter and she calls her Lolly. And then the dad came in. I wasn't really in getting, you know, Lolly, I don't get it. But when the grandpa came in. She kept calling him Pops, and I thought that was just adorable. So anyway, I found a shirt on Etsy that says um, Lolly, uh, another name for Grandma, only cooler. <laughs> so I bought that, and when it came, it was cute, but it was just gray with black words. So I bought that totally dazzled thing to fix it up. Um, I had watched, oh gosh darn it, what's her name? Um, oh, I know her so well. Um under the heat of the moment I can't think of it but I watched somebody do 
Um, oh, I feel bad because I want to give her a plug. She's great. Um, she does like me with like kind of romantic um, Victorian-ish stuff too, a lot with lace and that. There you go. So there's the coat. I can't think of her name. I, I might think of it before we're all done. Um, but anyway, I watched her do a, a shirt the a while back. I'm going to angle this in a little bit more. It's really overlapping. So I'm going to angle it in just a bit more here and cut kind of a, just like a, I just cut like a triangle off. And there, that lines up better, okay? So now my little coat's lining up a lot better. Okay, and then I've tacked it down up here at the top and I wanna do an extra tack. I don't know that I got it really good right there. All right. Um, gosh, I can, see her, I can see her face. Dark hair, oh, come on. She's gonna be like, thanks a lot for, for getting my, Oh, shouldn't even say anything. Darn it, she's adorable. I can't think. No, it's not. It's not Talisa, no. Um, she has black hair, young. Her son's like in the Navy. Oh, yes, Jennifer. Thank you, Rhonda. Of course. The Jennifer at Home Sweet Create. Yes. She had done a t shirt, or a, it might have been a sweatshirt. And it was adorable. So anyway, that was what inspired me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little piece here because I've got I've got 20 minutes, so we're okay. And I laid out some extra pieces of trim. I just want to finish this little ankle trim in case I oh no, I've got the wrong color. Hang on, I need the white. This is the unstained, un uh, bleached or undyed stuff. Okay, let me just cut a little sliver. And this is how you do the trim around the cuffs. It's just a little sliver like that. I don't even need that much. I just need a little piece. Oh, I need it fatter. Huh. I need it fatter. Huh. You know, sometimes the more you try to hurry, the... Yeah, it's Jennifer. Yes, 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 you guys. And I know that. I just went blank. I probably couldn't even tell you my mom's name at this point right now. <laughs> I don't know why I get so weird. I think it's just strangers. You strangers make me nervous. <laughs> and it's just my regular people. I'm like, oh, hey guys, you know. But then when you know there's strangers coming in, they get all weird. Because oh, I know it's different. It's really different. I know I get it. I know, I know. Okay. So here we go. There we go. That's better. A little gap there, but I think I can be fine with that. That's better, except that little gap on this one's bugging me now. Oh, here's a little tiny piece. Let's just fish that in right there. I promise you, you're not going to see all this stuff. When it's all said and done, you will never zero in on all these little things. So yeah, you guys are probably all like freaking out about the project. I'm like, no, oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> and I'm all freaked about people and whatever. So funny. Okay, there we go. So that's all better now. All better, all better. I'm going to paint his boots, so don't worry about that. And I don't want the inside of his coat to show too much. Yeah, let me, I'm going to hot glue it. I want it to stay, 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 stay. There, a little dab will do you. That'll be better. Now it'll stay, and he's got points on his coat. And you know what I forgot to get was buttons, but that's okay. All right, let's get his belt on. So I'm going to just, so this is like fake, um, yes, she is. Uh, okay, so I'm going to tell you, this is just that fake leather that you can get in the um, craft stores with the felt, where you can buy the felt sheets. Uh, the arms and legs, Susan, are just um, pipe cleaners wrapped, wrapped. Thank you. Thanks, Danielle. Yeah, it is the time limit too. You're right. I do have to watch that. I think you're right. That might be it. And worry about, you know, being late. I don't want to be late. Especially when they ask you to be early. <laughs> if you know me, I'm a last minute kind of gal. Okay, so I'm gluing this down because I want to pull it tight to give him a little bit of a waist. Yes, it's cardboard. Yes. Um, you guys may have to watch the replay. It usually takes me two hours to make one of these start to finish. I did a lot to pre, you know, do him. 
um, just to be sure. And we did uh, one in the group a little bit ago, and I did one on my, uh, we did one, oh, what was it, last week on Thursday maybe? And then um, I did one that same night later, just wanting to really practice up for you guys. So, all right, then I have a little old antique buckle. Um, you could, if you dig in like in the smalls, they have little boxes of stuff and you dig around, just pick up an old spoon or whatever that might be in there that you can dig with because your fingers will get so dirty. Um, and just dig around and see if you can't find any little treasures in those kind of uh, boxes when you are thrift shopping or whatever. You can find these buckles. Let's see. I, want, I, I guess it doesn't really matter which way the buckle goes. So let's get that on there because I love the big gold buckle. And that's my last buckle. I'm so sad. That's my last little buckle. So he better be good, right? He gets the last buckle. Then we'll be back to buttons and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get the head on. So I'm just going to glue. Again, this is made out of clay and um, air dry clay. Um, I give you all the sources and links and stuff in my group. Um, but you can find, just look for a Santa head or Santa face mold. Um, you can use German die cut, you can use papers, you know, to get a Christmas card with the Santa face on it, cut that out. Um, it might be, I never really thought about where the buckle came from. You're right, it very well could be a watch band buckle. Okay, now, um, typically I do like rabbit's fur, I buy big pelts of rabbit's fur, or I buy coats. Um, I was thinking this time though, I also buy hats. Um, I buy coats. I buy I buy hats and rabbit pelts, big pieces of rabbit. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, it's from Sweetwater Trading. Um, she's just posted right above you, actually. Um, she sent it to me. Uh, we're kind of friends. We've met each other here online and have become friends. And um, we share things together. So I found this hat. It was $8. And it's just an old mink hat. And I just tear the strips off. And it gives me real, real fur, like real fur. And I love that. And I hope nobody's sad about that. But I love that. Um, it really makes a big difference. And then for his beard, I have actual lamb's wool um, that we bought. We, I forget where we found I think it's Springfield. We found a big bag of it. Um, and so we both, my friend Julie and I both bought a bag of wool. And she has been doing her Santa beards in wool, and I haven't done any yet in wool. So I want to do, I want to do what she's doing because they're so great. Um, they look really. It looks like hair. Um, I always use fur. If we have time when we're all done here and getting close, if we have time when we get all done, I'll show you. So I need enough to where it's a little bit full. Hmm. But I don't want too much. And I guess I don't want it too long either. Let me see about shortening that up a little bit. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to glue over top of his beard here. Okay. I'm putting a lot. And notice I switched to hot glue for these last few little things. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of shape it down here to cover the mold. So this is just lamb's wool. Oh, his belt just came undone. I need to E6000. I was just hoping this would tack it on for you guys. Hopefully it'll stay enough for this. And then you just kind of need to, you know, pull it, pull it apart to where it looks real. So there's his beard. I made a hat ahead of time and I wanted to wrap fur around the hat. I'm still doing okay, you guys. Remember, this is a two-hour project that I'm working. I'm squeezing it. I'm squeezing. Squeezing. Um, I, I did do some things ahead. I did. But I knew I wanted to bring it to you guys on my page this year because it's been a couple of years since we started making them and it was time to share. And um, I, I just knew I had to make some ahead of time. I have so many of you have asked last year. I hope those that asked are here to see. But I thought, what a great, when Chris invited me to be in this, I thought, what a great Santa project. But I wasn't really thinking about the time part of it. 
when I knew what I wanted to make. Of course, then you can't change your mind. And Michelle texted me the other night. She's like, you're so lucky you know what you're doing. And that is, I don't want to change my mind in the middle of it. So, okay. So there, we went with some dark fur. Okay. And then, oh, his buckle's not going to stay. We'll just have to. And then I'm going to cover his face. See that white ball right there. I'm going to make sure that gets covered as well. And we're going to cover him up. Okay. You know what? I wanted to run for, I'm going to, un, I'm going to undo this if, it, if it'll let me. I used hot glue. I don't know. Okay. There we go. Um, let's get his hat glued down. So I'm going to put glue on that ball because I want to make sure that gets covered. And oh, I know I forgot to put the wool. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can just add a little bit of wanted to do a couple of eyebrows there. See if I can get them in there. I don't know. <laughs> I might be too late, way too late. We'll see, because I didn't even put glue for the eyebrows. Okay, here we go. And then let's get this hat on here. Oh yeah, I think I I think I can deal with that. Okay. Shove that up in there. I need to get his his hat has lost its heat. Let me get that. Okay. Ooh, my hurry in. Yeah. Join my group, TammyLovesVintage.com. Um, an alternative for the fur, I'll show you. Uh, TammyLovesVintage.com and look for the link for Tammy's making. It's $15 a month. Um, I do things here. I don't do videos like most of these girls go every day or, you know, four times a week or whatever. I don't do all of that because I just, I don't know. I just can't, I just, I don't, I can't come up with that many original ideas. And, um, so I just don't, <laughs> unless I have a really great, like, oh my gosh, I have to show them how to do this. I don't usually go live. So that's why it's nice to text me at that number. Um, so when I am going live, um, you know, you know, it'll be something, something I think is good, right? Something that I think is good. So I'm going to rip up this hat. I'll show you an alternative for fur here in just a jiffy. So I want to run some fur down the other side of this coat as well. Is that the same thickness? I think it's a little bit thicker right there. Okay, so let's run this to here. Doing good time-wise. Okay, oh my gosh, the other night the fur was flying. Oh, you missed the beginning? Well, it'll be in the group or it'll be here for the replay. Um, oh, thank you, Teresa. You're like an OG. You've been there since the beginning, I think. Um, okay, now let's glue his belt down. That's better. Okay, let me glue his belt down now. Um, in the group, you would get all of the videos from the past since 2019. And I do a minimum of three a month. And um, I mean, I've been known to do nine a month. I just, if I get an idea, I'm coming on. And I always take the, you know, the newest ideas and the different things to the group first. And then, like I said, after maybe a year or so, I bring them here to you guys. So eventually you'll see them. Uh, oh, Connie, thank you. Uh, okay. So many people have groups, so it's just 15 a month, just to keep it priced down a little bit. Um, and it's not a super structured group. I just let you know when I'm coming, and I go, you know, as much as I can. So, okay, all right, there you go. We've got a really quick Santa. I, oh, that fur's kind of big on this coat. I did that fast. Um, he's got his belt. Okay, so then what I would do is I would take a little bit of paint, any kind of paint, it doesn't matter, just some kind of paint, and I would paint his little boots black. So I'm gonna do that real fast. Um, maybe just the front side. I know you guys don't need to sit here and watch me paint. Um, let's see. Let's do the front so you can see that. Well, heck, it's not that big. Let me just get it done. Get her done, I got time. Okay, I just don't want to run in. Um, who's up? The Comfy Nest with Grace is up next in the group. You know, here on our page, we could stay all day, but um, this is shared from my page over to an event. 
and the girls over there are like clockwork next every 45 minutes next and it's been two days worth of every 45 minutes you get a new person so i whoop, i put the link there um at the top in the um uh in the comment or in the title um chris had them all ready to go we just copied them over and pasted so that everybody got where to go to see everybody else and it's fine if you're just joining, even though it's been going on all weekend because you can catch all of the replays, so it, it's fine. And then you can kind of buzz through to the end and see if you want to watch. Hey, Sherry. Hi, you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Linda. Um, okay, so there he is with the black feet. And I, I want to add something to his hands. And I'm going to get black paint all over everything. But I made a little, or I got a little tree and I put a bow on it. So let's stick that in his hand. Oh my gosh, we've almost done it, you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we're going to do it. Oh, it's a record. It's a cotton spun record for sure. Thank you. Thank you guys. Let's trim up his beard. It's a cotton spun record. Okay. So let's do that and then I had a little bell and I forgot to put I forgot to put a bow on it so let's just I'm just gonna hot glue the little bell and hang it from the bottom of his hand and I'll add a little bow after um, but I, I remember somebody here was asking oh, I can't stand it I got it I got a hang bow. hang on uh, oh here oh that's light hang on I got the wrong color here we go here we go here we go okay let's do this. oh thank you Tracy Oh, Stephanie. Oh, don't you love those little shows? Oh my gosh, the kids are amazing. Well, hi. <laughs> she must have been on my SOS thing where I said, join me. It does make a difference when you see a familiar face. Oh, for Pete's sake. You know, I could tie 10 little bows. Unless there's somebody watching me and then I'm like, eh, I can't do it. Okay. Try one more time and then I'm going to give up. There. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So I'm just using seam binding. It's a vintage ribbon. Um, oh, there's a whole story about how we finally figured out about seam binding years and years ago. It was at an antique show and everybody, it seemed like for quite a while, everybody was using this ribbon and we couldn't figure out what it was. My friend Julie and I. And so we were at a Christmas show at the Don Scott um, thing. Uh, yeah, his fur is way too big, you guys. Ah, and where's his buckle? I'm gonna try one more time with the buckle. Um, not yet, Tambra. I'm trying to fill my tree. I have a small tree and I'm trying to fill it, but I love making these and I have some velvet. We bought some velvet shirts and I wanna do a couple velvet ones. And um, I'm still just making some of each color and all that. And then I, um, I'm going to start making them um, and see if anybody wants any. Usually I get tired of things and I sell it before. Oh, I forgot the ball for the top. I'm okay. It's okay. That's just a scrap of fur. That's not anything good. Okay, and I haven't forgot you who asked about the fur. You remember the story? Yeah, so we were at a booth, and um, this lady, I don't know what made me ask her instead of all the other people we saw it, but I asked her, and she wouldn't tell us. She went, oh, gosh, I don't want to get that black on my new shirt. <laughs> I'm getting black all over everything. I knew I would. Hang on. Okay. Um, and she wouldn't tell us, and... This was years ago, so I, can't, I don't remember the details of it. But what I remember was when we went to the very next booth, um, that's, that lady is where we got this, like, Tim Holtz antiquing spray. She made her own, this lady I'm talking about, and the nice lady. And she says, that's, it's called seam binding. And um, she said, she said, that lady's not been very nice to me all weekend. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. It's like, because she can hear our conversation. <laughs> so, lucky for us. It worked out like it did, and we found out about seam binding. Of course, I've been telling everybody and their brother, I can't keep a secret. <laughs> Unless it's an important secret, and then I am the best. Because I'm such a chatterbox, people don't expect me to know something that no one else knows, right? <laughs> so, I'm a good secret keeper when, it, when I have to be. All right. 
So there, that is about all I can think of to do with him. Let me show you some others. We have just a couple of minutes. So now that you guys have seen the whole process um, of how to make an old vintage looking Santa, uh, let me show you an original. So this is an original, really old. You can tell, I mean, obviously there's a difference. You can tell. But um, I suppose if I ran him through the washer a few times and really tried to scuff him up a lot, maybe I could get him to be older looking, but we're not gonna do that. So here are some other examples of ones that we've done. Now this one has rabbit fur. Um, this one has mink fur off of an old hat. Um, the rabbit fur was a rabbit pelt. This is rabbit fur. Oh, do I, everybody have fur? This one's rabbit fur, hang on, I'm sure. This one, oh, this one is too. So the wool for the chin would be good. And um, then here, I used trim, like the white trim. And then for the top of his hat, instead of fur, you could dangle a little bell off of there, it would be cute. Um, let me see, and then, oh, I've got fur on here. Here's one, here's one, no fur, no fur on this one. Okay, it is all, cut, it's all um, cotton batting. And then with the Mod Podge on it, it makes it look like it's old and crusted. And then it's all trim with the gray, um, the gray. So we so we dyed it red. We dyed cotton batting red, and then we dyed gray. And then this is a face that is um, a German die cut. If you Amazon or not Amazon, it wouldn't be on Amazon. Etsy German die cut. Um, and then the last thing that you do, which I don't have my stuff here, but. Um, I just take my Mod Podge and water and I wipe all, I don't like cover it, I just brush over it and hit and miss here and there to make him not quite so soft and um, make him a little crustier, a little bit crustier. And then on these um, cuffs, you would, um, you want to use that antiquing, like Tim Holtz antiquing spray or gel or whatever and kind of age see the little spots you kind of want to age that white so yay i did it okay you guys that's that so thank you to chris hunter i think if my time is up creative friends in the box is the name of the group the event is called here comes santa claus chris hunter and the um empowered creatives thank you for inviting me and up next is the comfy nest with grace sorry i had to write that all down i did it yay okay and thank you tam or tara for my shirt from sweetwater trading anybody interested you can go to her facebook page and message her thank you guys bye